What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today I wanted to share something that was shared with me on my Discord channel. And it's something that I love kind of going over with you guys because we see some of these really wacky teams out there. Uh, you don't see them as often really because I feel like you really saw people on your own server more in Crystal Crown League. But with the addition of Star Arena... You get to see some funky accounts doing some funky things. And today we're going to look at Nadia, it looks like, in Star Expedition with probably one of the cringiest soul awakenings we have seen yet. Uh, not only is the account, the account's weird. The account looks like it has some really good heroes and some really, really bad hero decisions. But uh, yeah, let's jump right into it because I love sharing this stuff with you guys. It's a blast. It's funny. Let's get going. So let's just start with this screenshot. Uh, yeah, it looks like a normal account, level 123, so they've probably been playing like what, like six months? Somewhere in that ballpark in the game. Kind of goes to show how fast you can build heroes. Granted, some of these hero choices are questionable. You got a Sleepless. You got a Bade that is Soul Awakened. Horus, I mean, he's okay. You got too many projects going. You got a Shaho, which... Good late game PvP hero. You got Garuda, which is excellent. Um, questioning why we only have like a V2 when we have multiple E5 heroes. But you know, it is what it is. And then we have this beautiful man right here. I bet a lot of you in the game probably have never even built one. Granted, he was actually kind of decent way back in the day in the 10-star meta when 10-star was the highest hero you could build. Uh, Karim with a solid A copy. Yes. Could you imagine? Could you just, just imagine? Like, th this person probably all are also doesn't realize how lucky they are they even got a single A copy. But to have it on a Karim, like... At least if it was on the Garuda, it would probably do something decent on this account. At least if it was on Bade, it would be memeing on point like so many people do with their Bade armies. But a Karim? Karim? And then let's also talk about another enormous elephant in the room. You see this icon here? Yeah, yeah, you see, you see that little weird, funky, juvenile-looking dragon? Well, uh, yeah, that means it's like... <laughs> It's a very low drag. Well, let's put it this way. It's beyond its first evolution. It's like the middle ground evolution you get for the actual uh, the dragon pet. And uh, yeah, it's a little awkward, a little weird. But you have that many enabled heroes. You've got 2.5 million power. This is the type of thing that I would love to do in Star Expedition. Again, you guys remember our Star Expedition series we did. We had a ton of fun with it. Um yeah, I mean, maybe maybe this is what they're talking about. <laughs> this type of stuff where our little five-star team could actually defeat it. But I just figured you guys enjoy to see it. I'm not going to take you too much of your time today. But if you guys see something crazy like this in Star Expedition, take a screenshot, send it over on our Discord. I would love to see it and share it with our community. Because, uh, again, Nadia probably does not know how lucky they are they got an a summon but to get it on such a bad hero feels so so bad so hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time